So the CDC released a report this week, the good CDC, that there's an increasing trend of this antibiotic resistant bacteria that's happening in the United States that has never really been seen before. So what does it mean? My name's Alex, I'm an infectious disease epidemiologist, and I research outbreaks, specifically those that are drug resistant, like these pathogens. The bacteria in specific that we're talking about is NDMCRE. All you really need to know is that it's resistant to certain types of antibiotics that would normally be given, and laboratories have to do certain type of tests to actually know that we're dealing with this bacteria. So that's why it can be problem problematic, because when you're in the hospital and your clinician is trying to determine what type of antibiotic to, to give a patient, they need to know these details in order to give the right antibiotic to see better outcomes in the patients. And no one really knows why that we're seeing this increase, but it's also not the first report of seeing this increase in the United States. In the CDC MMMWR just a few weeks ago, there is a report about how New York City is seeing this type of resistant bacteria as now the predominant bacteria from um, other drug-resistant pathogens. So why is the CDC sharing this? A few reasons. To let public health departments know that maybe they want to have hospitals and other healthcare facilities send and report out this data because the CDC report specifically only looked at certain health departments that were reporting this. Two, it helps clinicians become aware that maybe if they're not seeing the right outcomes they want in their patients, that they need to do further testings and that's done in the laboratories. And then three, it allows for the, the general public awareness that there needs to be more research done on this area because we don't fully know why that this is actually happening in the United States and how it's spreading, whether it's in the community or whether it's in the hospital. So all in all, this isn't a, a huge emergency, but it's a concerning trend that has been happening for a few years now, and we don't really know the reason and why. So more research, more medical research, such as that funded by the NIH, needs to be done to better understand these trends.